Hey, and welcome to another unboxing and install video. Today we are checking out some single ring stainless steel um, towel holders. So I thought these were the okay, so they're stainless steel and they're black um, in the color here. So we came with uh, two of these. We're kind of changing our colors from the from the regular um, silver here that we have to this color. So I uh, picked these up from Amazon. They run about, I think it was around $10 or something. I'll link it in the description below. You guys can check it out if you want to. I am an Amazon affiliate, so it does help out the channel. If you click on my affiliate link when you buy stuff, I do appreciate that. So this comes with, um, some wall anchors as well as an Allen key. All right, eh, I do not recommend these type of wall anchors. They are not very strong. Um, I'm actually going to um, get, where's my little, so your installation, if you already have one of these, it should just be as easy as unscrewing this one. And you're just gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver. And that usually the holes for that are right up underneath. Just kind of unscrew that. Okay, almost there. Come on, buddy. Come on, All right. Okay. So that's off. And I don't have my Phillips head screwdriver right here, right now, but I do have my drill, or my impact driver. So, we're just going to take those off there real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm wondering if this will fit on there or not. Oh, it's just a little bit too small. Okay. There's too much to hope for. Let's pull this off of here, shall we? All right, I can tell these have some bad wall anchors in here already. Oh yeah, they have those trashy These ones just tend to do this pretty much. And we're gonna pull those out and put in some good wall anchors. I'm gonna grab those that are um, much better. All right, this is what I'm talking about. These guys right here, uh, they're rated for 50 pounds. You can get more, I think, heavier ones. But these are super heavy duty. The plastic's really strong. When you screw it in there, it's not gonna strip out. These are the ones I was talking about that they gave us, they're trash, okay? I'm gonna pull those out, put these in. Um, really good investment. If you hang stuff in your house, if you put up stuff, uh, you can get a box of 50 of these for like six bucks or something like that. I'll link it in the description below if they have some, and you guys can check those out. But I really recommend these. These are like the best kind of wall anchors I've come across so far if you're just dealing with sheetrock. So I'm gonna be using those. Uh, now to pull these out here, sometimes these spread out. I've got some pliers, wire cutter type things here. So hopefully we can just kind of work these out here without jacking up our wall too much. And yeah, not a lot to hold these things have. So there's one, and here's the other one. I'm just gonna pinch it and pull it out here. Wheel it back and forth. And I can get another pinch on there and just kind of, there we go, squeeze it down a little bit. So these are just, I mean, they're just not as good as the other anchors. All right, now we've got that removed. We can uh, mount our new one. So we're just going to use our, the Allen key they gave us. We're going to loosen this up a little bit. 
just enough to get that out of there. There we go, it falls out and that's our mount. Now, okay, so hopefully we can use these two holes. And yeah, looks like we can. So pretty stoked about that. Don't have to drill more holes and stuff. So with these, pretty easy to install these. Just screw these right in the hole there. These are like self-tapping too. So if you don't have a pre-existing hole, that's okay. See how those are nice and snug and flush? And they just, um, they're just so much better than the other one. This is crazy. Like, like I said, a 50 pounds rating, and I kind of believe it. So also with these, um, what's cool is there's, there's self-drilling. This part here, get a close-up on here, can we? Yes, so you'll notice the front part has a nice sharp tip. If you mark your wall, boom, you can put that right that right in the exact dot where you want, and that's going to start a little pilot hole. And these other parts, the edges around here, come on, well, I'm, I'm focused there on me again. The other parts will just kind of drill into holes, so just maintain some pressure if you don't have a hole already, and just kind of slowly screw that in. And while you're doing that, I like to hold kind of here with my finger and stabilize so it doesn't twist over or whatever and mess up your hole. So these will drill right into the um, sheetrock. You don't need to pre-drill a hole or anything. So these are my favorite sheetrock anchors and they are awesome. So if you do have a little hole already used from some trashy ones, you can just screw these right in there just like this. A little snug up right into the sheetrock there. And they are way stronger than those other ones. Okay, now that that is done, should be able to simply mount this on the holes that we've created. Okay, easy peasy. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, folks. All right. And I'm just gonna use my um, impact driver. We're gonna start one here. So we're actually tightening and we're going to get the other hole going too here. Ah, don't go down the drain. Okay. Whew. Okay, so pretty happy that that was compatible as far as uh, just being able to throw these in there. If you didn't have, oh, are these going to, they are going to go on there, right? I'm just, just going to try to tighten it up a little bit. Yeah, hey, I think it's going to go. Okay. Yep. And since it's round or anything, you don't have to worry about it being super level because it's just a round thing and that's going to be right where it's at. So I like to just do the final tightening with my screwdriver. It's easier to tell how tight it is and not over tighten because those are plastic if you do wrench on them a lot you can break them so just an fyi all right so if you didn't have the holes there already you would basically you just take this base plate put it wherever you want it take a pen mark your two holes there and then take these and just put that point right on there and screw them into the wall put your base plate on put the screws on good to go all right, so final step here, this is easy as can be. I'm gonna place our towel rack here over it. Might have to back out your screw just a hair. Don't go. Good golly. Ah, try to jump down the sink. Ah. Okay, that was super close there. I managed to screw it out all the way somehow. Okay, so. Get that back in there. There we go. So you can go in from the bottom here to where you want it to be. And then when you uh, put it in, just kind of try to make sure that this is uh, kind of level there. Just you can eyeball it. It's not going to be have to be like super crazy perfect or anything. I'm just going to flip this part up. That's going to allow me to be able to kind of tighten it up from right down here without holding it. 
All right, so these aren't the most fun things to deal with. It's like right close to the wall. Okay. This is probably the hardest part, actually. The whole thing is just messing with this thing and trying to screw it in there. Sorry about that. Okay, so once you get it kind of tight, this is going to be super strong. I actually might be able to do a pull up on this bad boy. I don't recommend it, but it's going to be pretty burly. Okay. And then I just use a longer one to tighten up a little bit more. Okay, one more. Okay. So it doesn't have to over tighten. Just feel it. Make sure it's pretty solid there. It is, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put that towel. Where'd that towel go? Up here? No. That just disappeared. Where the heck did it go? Well, I had a towel to hang on it. Um, okay, so there we go. Put that one on there. And there we have it. So looks pretty good. Easy install, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.